I'm Dr. Jennifer Yu. I'm one of the interventional cardiology fellows at Mount Sinai Medical Center. And um, on behalf of my co-investigators, I'm very excited today to present um, our study, a novel approach to identify women with cardiovascular risk factors. Uh, this, these are results from the Women's Heart Health Initiative, which was an OBGYN screening pilot program. So the background to this study uh, is that cardiovascular disease is a very important cause of morbidity and mortality in women worldwide. Um, however, many women uh, have this preconception that heart disease is primarily a disease of men and, um, and many women don't have a primary health care provider. Uh, so we felt that this was a really great opportunity to have a look at the spectrum of women uh, from an OBGYN perspective, looking specifically at the prevalence of cardiovascular risks um, and symptoms. So so uh, basically we implemented, there was a, this is a pilot program, a, a screening tool was implemented in um, 17 centres throughout the United States. Uh, and so women presenting to these OBGYN clinics um, were asked to fill out a survey um, which basically uh, asked questions regarding traditional cardiovascular risk factors, also um, known cardiovascular risk factors that are particular to women, such as um, gestational risks like gestational diabetes and preeclampsia. Um, and uh, these are our results in the first 2,234 patients that were screened. So what we found were that uh, in this population, we had an enriched population in terms of postmenopausal women um, and 27% on HRT, as you can see there. And looking at the age groups, really the majority of our patients um, were aged, uh, you can see just over half were actually aged above 50 and a good, good proportion in their 40s. Um, in terms of their cardiovascular risk factors, really interestingly, we found that um, the traditional risks in these patients presenting to community OBGYN clinics, really quite a well population, um, was very high at 68.5%. And then when we added um, on top of that additional risks, known risks such as being overweight, sedentary, and very important in this population, prevalence of gestational diabetes, hypertension, preeclampsia, um, we actually found that 87% of women um, had any one of these cardiovascular risk factors. Um, we also took a look at patients who are unaware of their risk factors uh, at time of screening. So, um, really interestingly, we found that a very high proportion of people were actually unaware of very common risks such as diabetes and hypercholesterolemia. People didn't know their blood pressure. And, you know, the majority of these women are aged above 40, so that was very interesting. In terms of cardiovascular symptoms, um, you can see that, uh, again, a very high proportion of these patients, for, over 40%, um, reported some sort of potentially cardiac ischemic um, symptoms such as chest pain or palpitations or um, claudications, which is a symptom of peripheral vascular disease. Um, really interestingly, we then looked um, at this population by who these women considered their primary care provider to be. And, um, and you know, we found that 18% of, of the women screened um, considered their OBGYN their primary care provider. Um, about three quarters of the women um, had, a, had an additional primary care provider who was not their OBGYN. And just over 5% um, felt that they had no primary care provider at all. And when we looked at the data this way, it was very interesting to see that the proportion of patients who weren't aware of their um, risk factors for cardiovascular disease, and these are you know, very common, well-known cardiovascular risks such as diabetes and high blood pressure, um, being overweight or having high cholesterol, um, was exceedingly high in patients who had um, basically either no primary care provider or had an OBGYN primary care provider as compared to somebody who had a primary care provider outside that field. So I think um, the real message of our study is that, um, uh, you know, by screening these, pa these patients in an OBGYN community clinic, um, we have a really great opportunity to, to identify additional patients who are at risk um, and that, uh, you know, this may enhance the delivery of primary cardiovascular prevention um, and education to these female patients at an earlier point in time where we can really make a big difference. There was a screening form that was designed in co collaboration with Sky Wynn, who are the Women in Innovations um, chapter of the, of, um, the, the Society of Cardiovascular Interventions. Um, so the first section um, covered traditional risk factors, um, such as, you know, do you know if you have a high blood pressure and, um, you know, have you had your blood sugar screened? So very simple questions. So when women presented to their OBGYN clinics, um, they 
first completed a very simple one-page screening form, um, often with a nurse practitioner before they um, before they had their OBGYN um, appointment, or sometimes with their OBGYN themselves, so that that those results were available then for the OBGYN. Often, um, it was discussed. The results were discussed with the um, with the the you know the patient presenting. And, um, and we also took a look at how many, um, how many referrals then came about among the patients who were screened. And, um, and we actually found that one quarter of the patients screened were actually then referred to another um, specialist or primary care physician as a result of the screening tool, whether it be a cardiologist or an endocrinologist, you know, because of some concern about you know, symptoms that were unaddressed or, or risk factors that were unaddressed. 